Hi, I'm Dee at Kennedy Space Center in the Apollo Saturn V Center. Today I'd like to talk to you about spacesuit design. See, a human being cannot survive in the vacuum of space or on a place like the moon unless you've got a special protective suit. We have to be careful of things like radiation, vacuum, mi micrometeorites, freezing cold or super hot temperatures. A spacesuit has to protect you from all of those things. And over the years, NASA engineers have designed different types of spacesuits. The one you see behind me is the kind that was used during the Apollo missions to the moon. Do you know why we sent three astronauts at a time to the moon? It's actually because of the spacesuit. One astronaut would remain in the command module orbiting the moon, basically driving the getaway car while two astronauts went in the lunar module down to the surface. Really, we could have done it with one person, except these spacesuits were so cumbersome that if someone were to fall down, he wouldn't be able to get back up without help. So we sent two astronauts. It's the buddy system, right? Anytime we go somewhere, we want to use the buddy system. Now, we're designing new spacesuits for Mars exploration. Maybe you saw the new ones that SpaceX used for their latest launch. All kinds of different suits can be designed for different reasons. And what I'd like you to do today is think about designing your own spacesuit to protect, well, not an astronaut, but a balloon. One of the hazards that we have to protect from are those micrometeorites. We don't want something traveling very, very fast through space to hit our astronaut, <laughs> or that could be really bad. So what you're going to do is get a balloon, put that down there, and protect it using items that you have around the house. Now, one of the things that I just happen to have handy is aluminum foil. I wonder if I wrap the balloon in aluminum foil, Will it be protected from that pin, or will it still explode? I'm gonna wrap this foil around, use a little bit of tape to hold it in place. I don't wanna tape the balloon itself because you know we don't actually tape our astronauts into the spacesuit. And let's see if this helps. Wow, it actually did give some protection. The spacesuits that we use nowadays have many different layers because, as I said, we're protecting from many different hazards. Let's see what kind of a spacesuit you can come up with. Would this work equally well if I were to put the balloon in the freezer, or would it make the balloon very brittle? Would it work if I put the balloon in a vacuum? You probably don't have a vacuum chamber at home, but I bet you can take something like a balloon and try to protect it from a pin. We want to keep our astronauts safe, but we want to keep you safe too. So make sure that you have your parents' permission and supervision before you start stabbing things with pins. This is Dee at Kennedy Space Center reminding you to stay safe, have a great day, and keep looking up.